Now that we know how to structure content on a page using regions, it makes sense to segue into working with CSS files because CSS is the way that we're going to position the regions on the page. For example, adding a sidebar to the left or the right or adding a header that floats above everything else. And in addition, CSS files are how we add just general styling to our site, how we give it a particular look and feel. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to add a CSS file through to our theme through the .info file. Go ahead and go to your resource pack directory and let's go ahead and copy the fourth step. So instead of copying the content, what we're going to do is copy the entire file here. It's called style.css simple CSS file. I'm just going to go to copy and then jump to your sites directory and in your sites all themes bat directory. Let's go ahead and paste it in. And let's rename this file to style.css. Go ahead and open the file. And what you'll see here is a very, very simple CSS file. All we're doing is taking the heading one tags and we're giving it a background of yellow. And so the goal here is simply to be able to tell when our CSS style sheet is being included on the page. Our style.css file would typically have a lot more content in it. Okay, so now we have our style.css file in our theme directory. Our next step is to register it with the theme. So go ahead and jump to your resource pack folder again. And what we're going to do is open up the fifth step here which is called bat.info adding a CSS file. Our style sheets, if you may remember from watching the initial video on theme.info files, are added through our .info file. So go ahead and open up the fifth step, which is called adding a CSS file. Go ahead and copy this entire code and paste it over the code that's currently in your .info file and save it. Now the only line that we've added right here is style sheets, all, empty brackets, and then equal sign style.css. So what this will do is add this style.css file, CSS file, to every page that gets rendered through our theme. And we're specifying that we want any page to be rendered this way by using this all tag here inside of the style sheets array. Now again, just like with our regions, in order to get this to register, we need to rebuild our theme registry. So I'm going to jump to the browser, scroll up to the top, and I'm going to clear all of our caches. Take just a moment. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the home page. And you see now we have our heading one tag with a yellow background. This means that our style sheet is being added. As the length of a style sheet grows, it starts to make sense to split up the style sheet into multiple smaller style sheets. I'm going to jump back to the .info file. If we wanted to split style up into another one, say layout.css, we could just copy this line, paste it, and simply change this to layout. And now both will be included after we rebuild the theme registry. When you're working with a custom theme, sometimes it can be difficult to figure out where to put your styles, whether they should be in your theme directory or in a module directory. So let me just speak to that briefly. Typically a good rule of thumb is that if you want your styles to persist, even if the look and feel of your theme changes, then that's probably an indicator that the style should be associated with the module rather than with the theme. If, however, the styles that you're working with are closely integrated with your theme, then chances are that when you change the style, move to another theme, or upgrade your theme, that you're going to want those styles that are associated with modular output to change as well. And so that would be an indicator that the style should probably go in your theme instead of in your module.